what is going on guys it's your boy domes here and today i have a brand new video for you guys today i am going to be talking about my my thoughts and opinions isn't it my yeah my thoughts and opinions about gears of war 5 um you guys have been asking me in the comment section domes do you enjoy gears 5 domes are you having fun on gears 5 domes how do you feel about gears 5 um guys listen in this video right here i'm going to explain everything from beginning to the end of exactly how i feel and then you guys let me know how you guys feel in the comment section all right because i don't know how you i don't know how the majority of you guys feel but i can i could definitely tell you guys at least how i personally feel about the game all right all right so let's let's touch up a few different things all right gears 5 had the potential to be one of the best gears of war games of all time i'm not joking i'm not over exaggerating i'm not trying to add some spiciness to the commentary just hear me out for a second all right the reason why i think gears 5 has so much potential over any other gears game is because the campaign was actually fantastic it was a good campaign um they were trying to introduce map builder for the first time so guys if you guys didn't know it was supposed to be possible to create your own map just like black ops 2 with your own settings and things like that and people could copy your settings and, and the map layout and you can load it up into your game that was supposed to be a system that was that was introduced into gears 5 it never was it was never able to be implemented into the game but that was their idea was to be able to make a map editor for private lobbies which would have been insane right um again they were trying to do too much with gears 5 but the actual thought process behind it was pretty goddamn good i'm gonna be honest with y'all and if when gears 5 first released and it, we didn't have that many server issues because we had so many server issues when this game first dropped all right when the game first dropped the flashes were insane you know i didn't enjoy getting flashed 24 7 playing king of the hill if you guys remember any of my older streams i used to get flashed 24 7 in king of the hill they'll spawn up and flash me my whole screen will be white right i might as i literally spawn i was spawn up and think i'm in heaven every single time i just saw bright white lights on my screen the entire game the game was unplayable when it first came out which it's it's the, theoretically the, the same thing is happening to halo right when halo could have had way more of a pop-off than it had if the game didn't release in a bad state the game didn't release in the best state ever you know similar to gears 5 similar gears 5 when it first came out everybody wanted to play it oh my god nick Merckx is playing it oh the high distortion is playing it ninja's playing it all these guys are playing it even dr disrespect he came into my stream dr disrespect was in my stream a gears 5 stream and he was actually enjoying the game dr disrespect was literally watching a video on how to wall bounce and he was watching my video to learn how to wall bounce a big streamer like him you know so gears 5 for sure has a lot of it had potential i personally think the devs took too long to fix the game and i personally don't think node zero was the best option to be as a as a worker for tc I don't think he should have ever been hired to work on the Gears of War game. No offense to that guy. I'm gonna be real with you guys. I, I personally think Gears of War. We just need the here. Here's my thoughts and opinions about Gears 5 in general, right? Let me give you guys a rundown, right? The movement system, in my opinion, is one of the most fun movement systems I've ever played in. All right. I've played Gears of War 1, I played Gears of War 2, I played Gears of War 3, all the way up to Gears 5 i played every single gears game so far right and me being honest with you guys gears 5 to me has the best movement system because this game when it comes to movement it lets you do so many different things right in my opinion it lets you backwards wall bounce which is a, a skill set i mean a skill set it's a fun thing to do and it's still a skill because if you master how to backwards wall bounce and cancel it you could juke the hell out of people with it you know pro players no matter what and the perfect example someone that has good movement in the pro scene is dyslexic and powers those guys abuse their movement 24 7. you know sad that the pro scene is over already but those guys made a perfect example of what movement could look like in a pro scene so that people will say oh movement doesn't matter i just hold my shots and i chunk you that sounds so good on paper that sounds so good 
like not you're not killing like, even me bro i you never hear me talk, talking about oh my god movement is so easy i'll kill anybody that's wall bouncing because i'll be lying to myself and i played at a professional level before to know that movement definitely still plays a factor in gears and it's always it always has people has anybody in the pro scene that it has good movement usually they're good with the nasher and that's just facts and the majority of the time they win the nasher fights if you look at it look at the top players in gears when it comes to movement powers tj exolvios enzym zerping goddamn who else summons identives dezo like the list goes on fiercely dyslexic all these guys have movement demise and they 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 hit shots so you know i i've seen the movement work for people you know what i'm saying it worked for me I mean, let me tell y'all something man my 1v1 wagers bro listen they call me a runner i'm a track star you think i'm getting away with movement and 1v1 wagers come on bro but like i said man trust me guys movement definitely plays a factor in gears um like i said i think gears 5 movement is one of the best movement systems in the game um the game right now gears 5 it feels a lot better than what it used to feel like right the the game feels smoother than when it first did the flash is no longer flashing your screen for 30 minutes um i just genuinely hope that when gear 6 comes out it feels like a gears of war game you know i, I genuinely wanted it to feel like i'm playing gears i don't want to hop on the game and feel like i'm playing a whole different gears of war game because gears 5 i genuinely guys i'm gonna be real with you it does feel like a different game that's me being honest but it, you do get that gears of war satisfaction when you get kills and i think that's the main thing that grabs our attention about gears of war right and i hate this old whole like analogy oh my god domes gears of war is gonna die i'm tired of hearing this dumb thing about gears of war dying guys the viewership numbers is low on twitch for gears yes the youtube numbers however there's still people still care about gears I feel the Gears of War franchise itself has always been a niche community. So I hate the whole people that try to say, bro, Gears of War sucks. Bro, what game are you playing right now that's better than Gears? No offense. Every game right now sucks. That I could agree with. You could say Gears 5 sucks, right? You could say Gears 5 sucks. It's not the best Gears of War game. The movement is probably the best thing about this game. I, I personally rate this game, guys, honestly, a six and a half, seven. When the game first came out, though, I'll give it like a four, three. But the main reason I like is I like this game is because I can play this game for two, three hours and have fun because of the movement system, right? Um, but let's be real, every single game out right now is not very really, it's not really good. You got Warzone, you got Fall Guys. Listen, the fact that Fall Guys was game of the year, come on, bro. Come on, bro. Fall Guys was game of the year. Do you guys understand that it was the most played game? How the fuck is Fall Guys? You can't make this up. So if anybody's talking about games sucking, listen, the whole gaming industry is dry as hell right now. You got Apex, Fortnite, Warzone, Gears of War, Halo, and a few other games. And you got Fall Guys <laughs> taking game of the year. With that being said, we have Fortnite taking over for a really long time. We had Halo doing its little thing at the start of the year. Cool. Now what? right guys i'm gonna be honest with y'all i'm just waiting for the next game right i'm having fun on gears right now and i'm playing gears a lot now because i genuinely do not have fun playing any other game right now and if i did play other games y'all will see it trust me y'all will never see me play a game and not try to upload it like multiverse i'm working on the video for multiverse soon it's dropping soon but trust me guys the, mo the the main game i'm playing all day is mostly gears it's literally just mostly been gears lately i haven't played no other games besides gears and a little bit of multiverse and a random random couple games of apex because i am genuinely just waiting for nw2 and i'm hoping that game is not a flop because if that game is also a flop i'm gonna get mad if you guys didn't know what my future plans are i think i already told you guys i plan on focusing on call of duty and gears for the next year or two until gear 6 comes out hopefully and then we can make something happen with that but my whole objective and goal is to definitely become like a movement player but for call of duty you know how shotty plays claw and does ha has that crazy movement on call of duty if i can be 25 percent of the player that shotty is 25 percent right 20 percent right 
and it's not me saying I can't be better than him because that's not it's, it's not about confidence here it's about just being 20 percent of his movement within the first two three months of playing the game people in public matches for call of duty matches for 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 cod if you're better than the average player on call of duty right and you have really good movement you could do really good on youtube and i've noticed that a lot of the movement players which i uh, there's a few movement players i see on call of duty that i think i'm better than no offense this is not me being cocky this is me genuinely seeing their gameplay and i see their shots they have nasty movement but it's like gears of war right guys there's people on cod right that have nasty movement but their aim is not that good so imagine me if i master the movement for call of duty is master the movement and have good shots and i make content on youtube for it where i'm uploading gears of war movement videos and call of duty movement videos can you just imagine that but yeah that, that's that's your boy's game plan i'm gonna be real with y'all i'm just gonna vibe out keep making gears of war content keep dropping tutorials trust me guys i'm gonna drop the tours for you guys i don't, I don't want you guys expecting your dooms you're gonna leave us listen shut, shut, shut your bitch ass up shut your bitch ass up i'm not leaving y'all um i'm not like i said i told you guys i gears of war is planted in my goddamn forehead all right i can stop playing gears for a whole year two five years i can become a goddamn astronaut or a, a goddamn celebrity an artist doesn't matter what I, I, no matter what what happens gears of war is always going to be in my heart i'm always going to talk about gears i'm always going to make something talk about gears make content about gears anything because gears of war has been a part of my childhood if i get interviewed if i ever become like as big as snoop dogg for example if someone interviewed me what's one of your most childhood like your favorite childhood games i'm bringing up gears 100 percent you know what i'm saying <laughs> and trust me man if i yo know, guys listen if i ever blow up in this thing of, of youtube and whatnot i, I do want to have like an esports team and i would love to have like an esports professional team on gears if i'm 30 40 years old you know and gears of war is still a thing in 10 20 years from now and it's still an esport i definitely want to be able to fund the team and have my own pro team in gears that would be definitely an ultimate goal for mine too after i retire and completely don't want to compete because i do see myself competing in gear six once i'm done with all that right competing and i'm done trying to prove myself in, in the sense of competing and, I, and i'm really and i'm really down to retire from competing because i'm gonna be honest with you guys competing is not outside of my my mind right now i still want to compete i don't feel the fulfillment i get from competing doing anything else besides creating content right so why not do both when i create content i feel really good and i know it feels weird to say that but i genuinely feel good creating content because i feel like an adrenaline rush every time i'm editing or think about an idea and i'm like okay this video could bang and if it doesn't bang i think about the next video and if that video doesn't bang then you know it's whatever we go for the next one <laughs> but man I, I i'm just hoping guys that we can have a bright future in gears man and it's not call of duty bro like those are the two things that definitely always i've always done guys like i told you guys i used to play call of duty before i came to gears of war my first ever video game on xbox was was literally a call of duty game mw2 was the first ever xbox game i had for the xbox one for the xbox 360 sorry that was my first ever game you know and then like i said my, about two years later a year and a half later that's when i got you know gears of war 2 for my birthday and my uncle put me on and gears of war 2 to me is always going to be my funnest gears of war of all time like it's going to be up there i don't i didn't there's no other game in the history of gears that i played as much as gears of war 2 and that's just facts there's just no way used to stay up 10 hours a day used to break night used to my mom used to hide my controller i would fucking find the controller and plug it back in when she go to work like <laughs> your boy was grinding man and listen i'm sorry mama dukes for like you know grabbing the controller when you was hiding it but i needed you know what I'm saying? i needed to grind something at least i was really into the video games and i always wanted to become better i wanted to i, I, I wanted to be that guy I always wanted to be that guy playing video games, just be good at video games. But I also genuinely feel like it's a talent that I've always had where I learn things pretty fast. But that's why I think I wish I had the videos that you guys have available now for my channel on how to do certain things. Because reaction shotting, slap shotting, all these different type of videos weren't a thing back then when I was trying to learn gears, you know? So when I was trying to learn gears, I didn't have the, the luxury of going to YouTube and finding out how to do certain shots because it wasn't out there yet, you know? But um, hopefully you guys enjoyed the video. GG's my boy. Look at my boy in game. Look in the, in the game chat. GG's domes. GG's my boy. Both of you guys enjoyed the video, guys. Um, these th these were my actual thoughts about gears. This is my final thoughts about gears. If you guys have any questions, let me know. And until next time, we go domes.
and i'm out guys peace love you mate